<laughs> good afternoon, Sebo. Oh, good afternoon, Dylan. Tell us a bit about what's just gone down with your car. Um, well, I got my one problem, my rust, is no longer a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually never showed it because we just didn't want to acknowledge it. Yeah. But Seb had a lot of rust right here. And um, down along at the bottom of my uh, parcel shelf, I guess. Yeah, the yeah. Corner, and then uh, a bit bottom of C pillar, I suppose. Yeah, a bit on the parcel shelf as yeah. well. And the other side of the top of the C pillar. This was like, this had holes like in here and stuff. Yeah, so like. So there was a big hole, uh, like right here. And there was another hole right here as well. Yeah, so, so. It's all being cut, welded, properly sprayed, all that good stuff. And it looks amazingly clean. Like, just look at this. Oh, yeah. So satisfying. Yeah, and they've re-sprayed a whole heap of it. So. Including the whole roof, right? Yeah, they did that. Yeah, they did the whole roof um, all down along here, all along the. like, lower. this lip. Yeah, the. Guy. whatever you call it, the yeah. rear panel. So it looks amazing right now. Um, Seb actually didn't have the car for like three weeks, which is why you haven't seen it. And it looks incredible. Yeah, that's why this video has taken so long, because I just didn't have the car. Yeah. For ages, and I just had the gear But let's get on to the main event, Seb. Yeah, now that... Now that you've closed the boot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so about three weeks ago now, just after I took this in, I picked up some uh, second-hand BC Golds, um, plus JDM86 brakes, so they're slotted and vented. Um, and they also have braided brake lines, which is a bit of a bonus, but yeah. I'm Very gonna be pretty. able to adjust the damping with these little knob guys. And actually um, brake properly like yeah, a madman. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna handle like a go-kart. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be installing these coilovers and hopefully it doesn't go horribly long like it did on Matt's car. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so we've got it all laid out. So first things first, we're going to get some um, flare nut wrenches so we don't end up in the same predicament we had last time with Matt's car where we rounded the bolts on the brake lines. Although Seb's already has braided lines in it, so hopefully they've been taken on and off recently and they won't be all seized up. But yeah, we just want to be careful. In saying that, when I did go to buy the car, Matt and I, we jacked it up, we were having a look because, uh, just ha having a look in general, and we looked under, and the dude was like, oh, it's got braided brake lines. <laughs> so he had no idea? He had no idea. <laughs> Glove up, Sebo. Yeah, our faces when we don't have the locking key for the lock nuts on Seb's car, so we can't take the bloody wheels off. How do you feel, Seb? <laughs> so, Dylan, what have we achieved today? Um, depends what you mean by achieved. Completed. Have to go with absolutely nothing. Flash forward to a week from now, when we get shit done. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey there, good afternoon fellas. It's a really beautiful day out. I just really want to get out of the house, really want to go do something, so I've decided I pulled the 70 into the garage, and I think I'm going to install these lower control arms and go for a drive and just enjoy the beautiful weather. I totally forgot that for this job I have to unbolt like heaps of stuff, but that's okay. I've got the uh, yeah the strut unbolted from the top there on the steering arm, and I've just got to unbolt the uh, sway bar here and the. I always bloody forget what they're called. Oh shit! So I forgot that I'll have to like totally align the car to do this job. Lol. Not gonna do that. <laughs> So 
So this has been a massive farce, but there is one thing I can do. Yesterday, I picked up this adjustable pen hard rod. Um, so maybe I'll try to chuck that in. Failing that, I'm just gonna go for a drive. Sorry, lower control arms. I'll put you in another day. As TJ Hunt would say, garbage, not garbage. Okay, so I uh, bloodied myself a bit trying to do this, but I opened like the rustiest um, shifter that I had in this whole place, which is the only one that's going to be big enough to adjust my adjustable pan hard rod. Yo, it's in. Sort of, almost. Ah! Oh, my arm's on fire. Oh. Smacked my funny bone into the ground. Oh. Okay, it's in. White line adjustable pan hard rod. Maybe my diff won't slop around so much with the weldedness. Let's go for a drive. That actually made a huge difference. I wasn't really expecting it to do much, but the axle chatter is like way way better now. The axle doesn't jump around so much like Oh my god! Regrets. Exciting change of plans. Um, I just got in contact with Sebo and he's like, hey man, I'm free for a drive. And then he's like, wait, let's do my coils because he got his key thing. When we did Matt's coilovers, we totally screwed this thread here. So today, we have this, a flare nut wrench from Repco, which cost a whole $28 for this one tool. Oh, shaky cam. Shaky cam. Spooky. Right. Come on, baby. Hey. Nice. Brake fluid. You did bring your brake fluid back. Right? Oh no! No, I did. Don't worry. Dude, this is going swimmingly. Can you imagine if I said this is going swimmingly and then the next step? Ah, fuck! Like, like right literally now. the next thing I do. Is Dude, just well, like, it is going swimmingly compared to yesterday. And compared when to when we struggled to get the wheels off. <laughs> So next up, we just undo the top hats. That's clockwise, man. You massive pleb. Struts out for Harambe. It is flat and flush. Yeah. That time it was. Jeez, Seb. Flat and flush, you Lucky you got new bolts on this. Teamwork. Not really. Putting in my pan hard rod was actually harder than I thought. Like, it was actually a bit of a task. Really? Yeah. Like, because it was such a tight fit with the bushings. Uh, where'd you put these little guys? Through the... So we can just, like, pop them out now? Yeah. Um... We may need to wrestle with it. Oh, I was probably right in the way of the camera. Hey, it's six strut out. Nice. This is gonna go in my car. Sick. Good thing I didn't do that many jumps. L for lefto. L for le not focusing. <laughs> Let's see if we can chug it in. Even with the roll center adjuster, we're gonna have to jack this up a long way. This must be set super low. Oh well, I'm keen. <laughs> um, what? Get in there. Ah, there you go. Just have to 
massage it a little bit. My God, it's gonna be so low. I don't even think it's gonna like work. <laughs> Screw it, man. Just roll the fenders. That's what it's all about. Today, right now. Get this and just go bang. Can you imagine if it didn't have the roll center of justice? I know. How far right? away that'd be. Alrighty, guys. So we have just finished putting the other side on. And yes, no it, big hitches. It is all nice and pretty in there. This uh, flare nut nearly tried to strip itself, but we uh, amended it. It's all right. We got it all bolted up. It's all on there. Things are going swimmingly. Now, we I guess. will bleed the brakes before we do the back. Yes. Yeah. And then put it on the ground, see how low it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Yeah, the diff feels so much better, man. And just like, I don't know, just thinking about that rod being there makes the rear end just feel so much more solid. Yeah, I know, right? It's like the mindset that it will be better. Yeah. So it is better. Focus. This thing's focusing really weirdly lately. What's this one? Red berry. I'm gonna go orange mango. Yeah. That's actually really tasty. Not sponsored. Gonna believe Actually, hit us up, Sparkling O. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'll go first gear. And like no fucks given. So much better than before. Black. Pretty good. Sebo is in position. I got this brake fluid here. I'm gonna pour some in here and film at the same time and spill it everywhere, no doubt. And I'm gonna have to wipe that up because brake fluid is freaking corrosive. Jesus! We got our little bleeder valve connected up to a bottle of sparkling O we just smashed down. And we're gonna bleed some brakes. All right, push down. And now let it out. Yep. Push it down. Yep. Let it out. <laughs> Jesus, it's gonna be low. Can't even. Oh, I can fit my foot in. There. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> That's it. That's what you want. Passes the shoe test. <laughs> we got the booty in the air. We're ready to do the back. And uh, Seb just realized that the long champs aren't uh, evenly spaced spokes. Yes, yeah, they're asymmetrical. So like, there's this little bit here, and then there's this little bit here, and it's kind of weird. Yeah. Just like. But it's cool. Just like the Easy Riders on Bowden's car. Mm. Coolio. Fun fact: these struts are the same ones that I put in my car. And for anybody who's wondering what the um, part number is, if you focus on that. There we go, rotate it a little bit. I'm sure oh. it's on there somewhere. I think they're the same as mine. They might not be the same part number. There you go. Yeah. 343113. Three. Pretty interesting. There's a lot of rear spring options for these. And these are actually from an A86, which is interesting. And there it is. Hey, you got it so it's like flush with the notch? Yeah, yeah, just so it's flush there. Sick lad. Alright, chuck it through, Seb. Where's the little nut? There it is. Radical. Awesome. So we got our adjustable damper things in there now. And the spring perches, we'll just have to jack up the diff so we can get these on. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're pretty much done. Okay, we are finito. Um, we're all done, we think. This is actually a pretty smooth install. Mm -hmm. Aside from the rear spring perches that are a bit... How's it going, but... Should yeah. Be right. So now I'll put it on the ground and see how it looks. Keen. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's kind of low. <laughs> Just a little bit. So gangsta. <laughs> what up, Seb? Actually, a good high five. Yeah, how bad is that <laughs> high five in the intro? <laughs> We're like, so Ugh. <laughs> uh, sick. Now my car looks like a tractor. A monster truck. Yeah. You have the most immensely clean Corolla ever now. We have some rub. <laughs> it may be a little low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're rubbing everywhere, oh my god. <laughs> oh god, the gutter. <laughs> You didn't choose the stance life, Seb. <laughs> so Seb's whole aim was kind of to make his car more comfortable. Because <laughs> it was really super stiff before. And now it's just like, doesn't like turning or going in a straight line. Just, just like, just doesn't like life. We've decided we're gonna try the phone book method for some guard rolling. Or the magazine method. Now, um, you can use most magazines, but I find that Homes and Antiques is generally better <laughs> for this job. That or L decoration. Or whatever your mum has lying around. As long as they're mums. Yeah. Okay, so, here we have our magazines. With a pretty lady on the front. And then what we're gonna do is use our very professional method here where we put it in there and um, we grab this guy over here and just give it a bit of a go with the heat gun. We lower it onto the magazines. I'm gonna sit on it. Jack it up and we see if it did anything. Well, I yeah. think it did a little bit of something. Yeah. By like looking at both of them. Really? Maybe. No, it hasn't even really rolled that at all. So we just did a little fender. It's actually, I think it's mainly just pulled it, but it's also bent that lip a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it's not touching the tire anymore, just sitting here. And same with on this side, because that was actually resting on the tire before, so yeah, it won't drive, it won't rub driving the straight line anymore, it might rub a bit mm. over bumps, but we might try and get our hands on a fender rolling rig thing so that we can all do our own guards. Yeah, we'll take it for a drive, see how it goes. The rub on the back is pretty much gone actually, but um... The fender liner on the front here is just scraping like crazy. Alright, so front rubbing isn't going away with just cutting the fender liner, so we're just going to raise it up like just a little bit and it should be alright for the time being until we get a fender roller. So there you have it. There's our BC coilover install video donezo. Yeah. Pretty stoked. Yeah, feels good. Yeah. Bigger brakes, better suspension. Mm. We're gonna need to roll the guards, but we're gonna all go in on buying a guard roller, we think, and we'll mm. um, we'll do all of them. 
Yeah, be a good investment. Yeah. Anyway, peace out. I uh, wait, no. Not peace out. Anyway. See, ya. See you next time. Bum 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 So I've just finished cleaning up, but uh, shout out to Jake OK, who says his mate will give him a hundred bucks if we shout him out. <laughs> Hope you get your hundred bucks, man.